everyone, I'm Michael aka Trayman3985 and welcome back to the layout. So it's December 2018 and the year is rapidly ending and, and soon it will be 2018. Well, I thought for another video I would share some goodies I got. As the title implies, I'm showing some goodies I got for my birthday. Now, just in case you guys are wondering, my birthday was a few days ago. I was born on December 7th, also known as Pearl Harbor Day, and the day America entered World War II. So, around the time my birthday came about, I got some very nice goodies and some wonderful cards and gifts from my friends and my family. They really know how to make me smile. So, in case you guys are wondering what I got for my birthday, well, I'm about to show you in this video. So to start off, what the hell are you doing here, you piece of shit? Get out of here! Well, that was violent. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> to start off, I have two new passenger cars from my Amtrak Phase 2 fleet. The first one being a baggage car. And in addition to the baggage car, I also got another one of these. A combination baggage car and coach car. A combine car, I think it's what they're called. A while ago, I decided I wanted to get some more Amtrak Phase 2 cars. And well, these two cars, both the combine car and the baggage car, they were on sale. I initially wanted to get two of these baggage cars because I wanted to add two baggage cars to my Amtrak train set and do a little customization project. But I only got one and I got this one too. And the thing is, when I got the uh, Amtrak Phase 2 passenger cars uh, at that one train shop, it, al it already came with one of these. So yes, if you look at these, they're basically identical. The only difference is the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert one of these cars into a baggage car. My idea is to blank out these windshields and paint over them and I think it'll work as a baggage car. It'll have one big door right here and a small miniature one right here. Once I do that, then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this combination baggage and coach car and give it a streamlined slab right here on the back so that way it could conform with the top of the... Um... Actually, let me show you. There, as you can see, I have one of the uh, double-decker Superliner cars with this combination baggage and passenger car. And as you can see, it helps demonstrate what I'm wanting to do. What I want to do is put a streamlined slab from maybe about here to here. So that way it can conform to the shape of the, of the Superliner cars. And then I'm going to put some antennas on top of it. What I'm basically trying to do is, I'm going to try and replicate a passenger car that... Uh, Amtrak during its early days and the Santa Fe used for its premier passenger train, the El Capitan. Here's a picture to show what I'm trying to go for. If you'd like to keep up with some of the model projects that I do and some new purchases, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The other two goodies that I got were two new locomotives. This is a Bachman HO Scale Amtrak General Electric E60 or E60CP. I say that because, well, these engines were made around the time Amtrak was still using steam heat equipment, but during the uh, arrival of their then new Amfleet cars, a few of them were fitted with head and power. So as of late, I was really starting to gain a keen interest in the uh, E60 locomotives. They were just very cool looking and they sound great. And plus, they were the first to feature my new favorite paint scheme for Amtrak, Phase 2. Just to clarify, I'm not saying the other schemes are bad and I wish that they were gone. I don't think that way. 
I've seen Nantrix phases through the years, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase 4, phase 5. Thanks to watching Amtrak i365 series engines of Amtrak, I fell in love with phase 2 paint. And the E60s uh, were the very first locomotives on Amtrak's roster to feature it. And another thing that I like about the E60s is their paint scheme, their shape, and, like everyone says, their horn. I mean, just listen to it. Doesn't that sound cool and unique? Now, as you can tell, I'm running the engine backwards. This part of the engine is the front and this engine is the back. But hey, I like to run it backwards because the engines with the pantographs popping up and facing forward looks kind of unique to me. While wow, running an engine backwards, that sounds like something the folks over on the Southern Railway would do. Now oh, wait, I am a fan of the Southern Railway. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, all joking aside, the General Electric E60 really caught my eye and, and I can safely say it's one of my new favorite electric engines along with the uh, AEM-7, GG1, the Milwaukee Road Bipolar Locomotives, Box Cabs, and their classic Little Joes. So on to the next engine, well next to final engine, and here it is. A CSX SD40. Bet you didn't see that one coming. I have one, if not many, of CSX's relatively unknown locomotives. Here's a little bit of a history lesson. The EMD SD40 was a six axle road switcher diesel locomotive built by EMD between 1966 and 1977. The SD stands for Special Duty. The 40 stands for the 40th locomotive being built by EMD. EMD built a grand total of 330 locomotives for U.S. railroads. One particular buyer of the SD40s was the Consolidated Railroad, or Conrail for short. In 1999, Conrail was sold to two other railroads, CSX and Norfolk Southern. A good majority of Conrail locomotives were split between Norfolk Southern and CSX. In the early 2000s, CSX and Norfolk Southern made a trade with each other. CSX gave Norfolk Southern EMD SD40 Max and, in turn, Norfolk Southern gave CSX their SD40s. Upon arrival, CSX did not fully repaint their SD40s. They just blacked out Norfolk Southern and put their famous boxcar logo on the side and then just put CSX patch numbers on the side. This in turn earned the uh, CSX SD40s the nickname Black Hornets because they were color pattern different to their real life insect counterparts. The CSX Black Hornets ran for a grand total of three months until CSX sent them and their SD40-2 counterparts to be rebuilt into CSX SpongeBob Square Cabs, or to be more precise, the SD40-3s. So it will be safe to say these are relatively unknown, but are fascinating nonetheless. So yeah, these are the goodies that I got for my birthday. Two more Amtrak Phase 2 coaches, a General Electric E60 in Phase 2, and a CSX SD40 Black Hornet. These are going to be a nice welcome addition to my HO collection. So I think that's it for this video. I really don't have anything else to say. Actually, I do. Things may be uh, slowing down uh, by the end of uh, this month. My dad will be coming over for Christmas, and I'm going to be spending time with him. So if you see a little activity on my YouTube channel, doesn't mean I'm dead. I just want to point that out. I don't want to promise something that I can't promise, but with my dad coming over, he and I like to go out and photograph and take videos of trains, so I may be able to post another Ralph Anning video before Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. 
I really don't know. We'll just have to wait on that. I am also considering of maybe doing another live stream on Christmas Eve. I've been thinking about it and I'm a little tempted to try it, but seeing how my previous two live streams were a little bit of a um, flop, I'm a little concerned if I should do another one or not. And before any of you guys ask, no, don't worry, I'm not going to delete them, because apparently a lot of you guys liked the live streams and, well, I'm, I'm actually thankful for that. I'm still working out a little bit of a few bugs to try and get them to work. So maybe I'll do another live stream on uh, Christmas Eve or... I really don't know. I have been questioning whether if my live streams are actually good and if they add to my channel or subtract from my channel. I don't know. It really all depends on you guys. If you guys like my live streams, just let me know. If not, then... You don't have to say whether they're good or not. So that's basically it. I do apologize for the lack of videos uh, as of late. And sorry if this was boring or something. The holidays are coming up and we all know that family comes first. So until next time, I'm Trainman3985. And have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.